What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video and today I'm going to be getting into all my storage systems for the electric unicycles. You know, easy ways to store these things uh, right next to the door. I got a rack behind me if you want to really go upwards, you know, and keep these things off the floor. I know it can be a pain once you get more than one of them. They really start, you know, getting cumbersome by the door, start falling over everything and getting these things up off the ground and into a nice solid stand is everything guys so let's take a look at it and I'll show you all the methods I found for the cheap getting into this hobby you know you might have one or two and I'll show you what you can do about that if you just have one electric unicycle I'll show you the best way you can really store that out of the way and a good way to do it where you won't get any type of mud snow or anything like that on the floor but long-term storage this is the way to go so this is where I keep pretty much all my unicycles guys and I don't have that many you, you might think that I have a ton of unicycles and whatnot excuse me code two code two with these racks right here this is the best way to really be able to expand and kind of grow your collection and add more racks as you need to so um, I really I, I kind of got this idea from a uh, Kuji rolls and I was thinking about doing kind of the same thing where he did uh, he kind of set up a rack and made the uh, it was unistrut is what he used and that stuff is pretty cool but it's very expensive and you know get down there and cutting all that stuff and everything you know that's really not for everybody and a lot of people want something simple I like stuff that's really simple, and this pretty much met met my needs perfectly. So this right here, guys, you can get this thing on Amazon. I'll show you exactly what it is. So this is the Yahi Tech. I'll leave the link below, guys. So this is this basically is just a unit. It's it's basically like Unistrut. It's just like a shelving unit, and it takes absolutely no bolts or anything like that to put together. So it's just quite simple. And you can literally just hammer it together. You just get a box. They send it to you in a flat pack box. It weighs probably about 45 pounds. And you can literally, its it comes within a week on Amazon if you have Amazon Prime. Free shipping. A lot of people have Amazon Prime. And pretty much, I mean, that's, that's a steal right there, guys. And, you know, you can make it however you want it or really adjust these racks um, to fit whatever unicycle you have. So if you do have, like, a monster or something like that, you can really... Um, adjust these to however you need to so i'll bring you guys in here and kind of show you how i set it up it comes with three extra layers of wood right here if you do this setup so don't worry about that this is just extra so it's really customizable so what i basically did guys is to, to fit these unicycles in here in the bottom you need to make it strong so you still need to use all the cross sections that you can you know in in the setup so what i did right here in the bottom and the way you do it it literally there's basically just three pieces to this whole thing, guys. So there's uh, three different types of pieces, you know. So it's not like you're getting a whole bag of parts or anything like that. It took me like 10 minutes to build this thing. You want to do it where the bigger ledge is on the top with these things. They're a little bit different on each side. And then that's the side you're going to put the uh, wood on. And you don't really need the wood on here. It just adds a little bit extra rigidity to this whole thing from sliding around. And so I just put the wood in here in the bottom and also if I do throw one in here that's a little bit wet or something like that or a little bit of snow on here, then it's not going to drip on the carpet or anything. Not that this carpet, I mean this is the old piece of carpet for the shop room, but this is my dining room. I've literally converted it into a little shop. So I'll show you all around the whole thing. And you know, I really wanted a shop in my house, but dining room I guess has to do. And then right here guys, kind of so what I did is I, I basically measured up and if y'all want to go off and kind of build the same thing that I did, if y'all buy the same exact one, I'll link the same one below. Then I went right above this cross section right here where these two halves meet, you'll see right here. And I, it's the immediate one above that. I put in one layer right here. I threw in the wood so the wood doesn't come out at all. It won't slide around, it can't come out. Then I put that extra section in, just like I did here at the bottom. And then I can fit, you know, I could, if I squeeze them in here and fold all these up, which I really am not too worried about it, um, I just want to be able to fit, you know, two bigger unicycles on the bottom right here. I got an extra motor. This is a motor that I, um, I bent. I bent. This is a, from a Mega Send right here. So if you know, you don't want to throw that away. And there's nowhere to really store it easily. You know, if you keep it in the corner, it's just going to fall down, and it just becomes a pain in the butt. So now that I got all these up off the ground, it created so much space in here, guys. Because before that, I mean, these were all over the floor. You couldn't really dust behind it or clean. And I'm like, I'm, a, I'm pretty much a, really a neat freak, guys. I like be, my stuff to be neat and clean. And so this was just really, really satisfying getting these up off the ground. As little as it seems, I know you guys out there have the same problem. And y'all can definitely take advantage of this. 
And also, let me bring it all around here. So on the side over here, guys, I even had room to add chargers in, and I came up with a really, really cool system uh, to be able to take the chargers, and, and if I want to unclip them or something to be able to take them on a ride, all I have to do is come in here and basically just grab a charger and then unclip, I have a carabiner right here, and then just like a little mesh net. And then I just unclip the charger, and it's already, the plugs are just hidden under there, so I just grab whatever plug I want, and they're all labeled. All the plugs are labeled under there, so they're easy to grab. And then up here, you can always see kind of what pin you need. So you can just drop this down, this little thing that I have latched onto here. And that's the good thing about this, um, you can use all these different holes in here, you know, to add whatever you want to, you know. And so this is really cool. So I can just flash that up there and then pull this over to whatever wheel that I want to charge. If I need to get down here, I can just do that. And they're easy to take off. And I'll show you this whole system that I have right here for um, for charging my wheels and and why I have it kind of set up like this even, even in the house. And sometimes I charge wheels over here and then I have another place where I also charge wheels at. So if I want to come back over here just to keep everything, you know, nice and tidy, I just put that right in there and you're good to go. Just hang it up. Oh, and I even had room for this ancient piece of technology right here to hang up on the side of this out of the way. So. Electric skateboard, man. That thing's terrible. Terrible. I despise it. It's too slow. Honestly, it's just too slow. But I, I got a nice orangutan wheels on one of those really slow electric skateboards. And it cruises. It's pretty nice. It's basically like, an, the way I look at that electric skateboard, it's basically just like a skateboard with brakes on it. So that's pretty cool. Okay. All right, guys. So this right here is going to save all of you out there that ride in snowy, muddy, wet, rainy conditions. And I know these things are incredible in the snow. They're I, like the IP rating on them in the snow is incredible. So we all ride them in the snow, and it's a great way to get around in the snow. I mean, you don't have to get your shoes wet or even dirty. You know, you just get on this thing. You're up in the air just cruising around. And so I always come back and these things do pick up a lot of snow. And the best thing that you can do for them whenever you do go out and ride is have it completely vertical when you come back. Have it in a warm place. Have it right over here by the baseboard heaters. It's not a lot of direct heat, but it will just melt the snow out. And it'll keep this whole thing dry. It'll keep this whole area dry over here. So, um, you know, if you have a fan or something like that, that's even good. Even in the snow or something, get a fan and kind of put it near this thing. But what I did is I used to always keep this tray over here. This is just basically a simple tray. You can get it at Ikea, anywhere like that. This is this is just to put your shoes in whenever you come inside so you don't get the house all muddy and dirty and whatnot. And then what I did on top of this, just so I can keep this stable, because you can lean this against the wall. What I always used to do is have this against this 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 wall right here and then I would lean the unicycle against it and it works but the thing is a little bit of water would seep back here and a little um, this wall would get banged up right here not that it is this needs to be repainted anyways this paints awful in here that's why I'm putting nostalgia on the walls and everything but this is how I bought this place that had this paint it's kind of getting banged up you know and um, so anyways guys what I thought about was um, and I've seen it before um, I can't remember who I saw do it I think it was a uh, I can't remember who I saw do it, but I've seen I've seen pictures before where somebody used a planner, uh, like just a, a, a railing planner, and I was like, dude, that's pretty cool. So I went on Amazon, I looked for railing planners that would work, and I came across this, and this looked really sturdy, but it just didn't have a deep enough well in it. But um, so this, what I have this sitting on right here, it's not a EUC stand or anything like that or anything um, really specific, but this is just a railing planner, guys. So if you want to turn it over and see this is just a planner that you would stick on the railing you know outside or whatnot and what I did in here and I'm I gotta shape it up guys I'll show you just how easy this stuff really is to cut um, this just came from me doing a sloppy cut right here where it cracked and I just wasn't paying attention where I sat it down but this thing's so sturdy you could really cut out as much as you want in here you could cut it all the way side to side and it wouldn't really affect it um, that's just what I did. I just came in here and cut right along the lines with the Dremel tool and it's good to go. The wheel sits literally directly in it guys. It sits perfectly right on top of these and it's sturdy and you don't have to worry about it. This thing was $17. I'll link it. I'll link it in the description for you guys as well. 
But the thing is, uh, how sturdy it is. So you come in and you don't want to finick with a little 3D printed stand. Um, I totally love those stands. And um, you know, if you do make them, keep sending them because I'd still use those three, 3D printed stands. But this right here, I mean, look. Just sit it down, really simple. You know, it's just, it, it works. It, it's no finicking with it. It's just, you can literally just throw that thing in there, you know? And that's what I like. When I come in from a ride, I don't want to have to finick with it or anything. I want it nice, neat, out of the way, and I don't want mud dripping all over my floor, you know? And that's what it'll do in any other circumstance. So this keeps everything contained. It keeps all the mud, all the snow contained, and all that water will evaporate. And then this will just get filled up with dirt and snow over time, and then you can wash it out. So that works very well. This is the charging system, bringing you around here. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the little charging setup situation I got over here. This is for my everyday wheel. This is for the wheel that I'm usually rocking with. It's gonna be coming in out of the snow, whatever. If I wanna swap, I can. You know, I can throw this wheel on the rack over there, whatever it may be, and roll with another wheel. But this is kind of the charging setup that I have under here. And I can literally just reach under here. I got a carabiner as well. And I can grab this charger and switch it out for another charger that's over there if I want to have it over here by the door, you know. And this is usually uh, primarily where you want to have your charger as close as you can to the door, the most convenient, you know. Um, instead of having to lug a wheel through the house, getting dirt on the floor or whatnot, you want to have it as close as possible, especially your everyday wheel. So I just keep that right there. And if I need to, I can throw that right on the charger. This kind of just loops under here. This keeps it air flowing everything good to go and the way I did that is just some some uh, velcro straps and a zip tie right there so and if I need to I can easily take this and throw it in a backpack too so nothing's really hindering me from uh, just grabbing and going and throwing all this gear in the truck or in a bag and then I'm heading out to the next ride and I got my charger with me so um, the more convenient it is to take your charger out of whatever situation you have it set up in the more times you'll bring it with you you know and, and sometimes you're out there and you really want to go for another ride or you want to have your, your charger with you so uh, that's cool and that's a little setup I have under there Got all my wires up and out of the way, so that's nice. All right, guys, so over here, this is this table right here is awesome. So this might not look like much, and it really isn't, but this is awesome for working on the electric unicycles. You can put the wheel right in the middle of this thing, and then you can put, so if you ever need to do any type of, of maintenance on it, this is up high. It's, it's, you know, where you can work on it. You can put the wheel right in the middle of it, and you can tinker with it. You know, you can go about whatever you need to. And the other cool thing about this setup, I actually broke it right here. The reason I got this replacement wood on here, um, this right here allows you to do all the axle maintenance on these things at home. And it doesn't happen very much at all on the new unicycles. But on the old ones, like uh, th with this setup, before they had the upgraded shims in there, um, you needed to do like maybe tighten up the axles every now and then. And a really simple way to do this, guys, is literally just um, take the shell off the wheel, sit it down, and then this is completely flush. You don't have to worry about leveling anything or anything like that. You just sit both um, pedal brackets on here and then clamp it down from underneath and then you're good to go. You can really torque on it. You can get a big wrench and torque on this thing. You know, if you're if you're careful, it won't snap this thing. I really was just, I was really torquing on it whenever I snapped this wood. And if it does break, uh, you can replace the wood and you really have, you got a solid platform to work with. And these benches right here are $20 at Harbor Freight, guys. It is an absolute steal for working on these things. And if you need to, if you're in a place where you have to, um, space is a concern you can fold this whole thing up and stick it under a bed or table whatever it is it literally folds down to nothing um, they make some better quality ones black and decker makes ones that are a little bit more expensive but this is all you need guys if you live in an apartment somewhere um, and this is just a side hobby and you don't really have a ton of tools you know this is where this is going to be everything if you need to do some maintenance on, on your unicycle just flip this thing out and you've got a great platform to do whatever you need to on so these are great tables i just I didn't cut this off because this is actually nice. So if I'm working over here, I can have some tools and stuff on the end of it. So you can see this was just an old piece of fence that I added on here after I broke the last one. So it is a flimsy table, but it works very good for the price of, of you know what you need it for. So don't expect a ton out of it, but it does work. So All right, guys, and for this workbench right here, this thing was not expensive at all either. You can actually get this on Amazon. I'll leave the link below if y'all want to build a workbench up like this. Um, all this stuff in here, you know, I got it just so uh, you can break it down. It's cheap or whatever if I do end up moving soon, anything like that. 
you know, it's um, it's not expensive stuff. You know, if I whenever I get my homestead, that's a different story. I'll get you know invest in some nice stuff. But since I'm moving around and stuff and young like a bunch of you out there, um, you know, we don't have our homestead yet. So we got to go with the cheaper stuff and make do for a little while until we can get our nice tool benches and our nice you know wood grain thick workbenches. I'll have that one day with a nice vice grip on the side of it. But this has to do for now. So this thing right here, I'll leave the link. It was 190 bucks. Um, basically, you can put this whole thing together in, in about a few hours and a few cuss words. It won't take much more than that, and you'll have a nice workbench. And just tighten it. And you really got to tighten it. You do all these bolts got to be super tight, just because it's flat pack. You know, it's flimsy steel, and you really got to tighten it. And then on the drawers up here, guys, this is kind of what you're going to want to do for the drawers. Um, they're flimsy. It's just particle board down here. So I got some of these Amazon uh, drawer organizers. Um, these are absolutely great, guys. So if you need to organize any type of kitchenware, anything like that, these are the drawer organizers that I would go with. So these are these are great, guys. These. And it disperses the weight. So you don't want to go putting um, all these wrenches in here on top of this particle board. But this really disperses the weight good and makes these things really smooth. I mean, you know, for a $190 workbench, you really can't complain. I, I mean, I like it. It works out good. It comes with a light, too. It also has a light under there. So, you know. And then under here, I just got some Amazon Basics storage bins. And man, look at that. All those electric unicycle parts, motherboards right there. And then what do we have over here? This right here is the pleasure bin, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. What is this right here? Look at this. It's an entire bin. An entire bin. Who has an entire bin full of stuff? Oh, power pads. These are coming up. So these are coming up soon. Putting these on the wheel. Whole bin of power pads, guys. So you got everything to make power pads. An old uh, mouse pad I plan to use. So these, I tried using these. These were the things like, you know, you've seen these before. Did you rest your wrist on for like a mouse? So those, oh, good old hot glue gun in here. We got Gorilla tape, a whole bag of hot glue sticks, Clark pads. We got EUC guy pads in here. These are coming up soon. So stay tuned for these bad boys. What wheel will I put it on? We'll have to see. But anyways, guys, so I just wanted to show you all my little shop right here. And um, I like it. I like the little setup I got. The racks work very well. I can't complain. Just come in, throw that thing right on there. It could look a little bit better. And we might clean it up. But um, that rack also works. And I didn't have to go through measuring anything. I didn't have to cut anything. I just literally hammered it together, and it worked out great. So anyways, guys. It's been Church. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next one. You get all the latest electric unicycles linked right below, guys. E-Wheels is where you want to go for all of the United States customer base, and for all of you guys everywhere else in the world, E-Rides. Both are right below. Both are affiliate links. And with the E-Rides, use code CHOOCH5, and you can get a discount on your purchase. And also, down below, I'm a proud member of the Lazy Rolling team and all the armor jackets that I'm wearing. You can get a 20% discount using code CHOOCH at LazyRolling.com. Thank you, guys. I'll see you on the next one.